Hey, Mark. Hey, Kevin. Good to see you. Welcome. You too. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so let's uh, show you what we emailed you about. All right, that's Come the fireplace. In. This is the fireplace. All right, great. So we've been in the house for about five years, and we love having wood burning fires, but we're a little worried about how the doors function. Um, they're kind of a pain. The flue kind of sticks on us. It doesn't operate so great. Um, and we're not sure about the safety of the whole thing. We've never really gotten that checked out, so we're hoping you could help us out. All right, to be honest with you, the first thing I see is something that's good. So I'm actually gonna grab a drop cloth, we'll spread it out, and we'll check out what you have. Great. All right. All right. So, Kevin, I've actually seen a couple good things. You can see this back wall, this burn pattern. And yeah. You see how it goes into a semicircle just like that? Yep that tells me is the fire is burning at its hottest down low which is what it's supposed to be okay it's about 800 to 1200 degrees down here as you get up here it's about 600 and by the time this smoke gets out of your chimney at the top it's just hot air so um, Kevin do you have a flashlight handy yes. maybe in your phone so I saw a couple other things another good thing is the fire brick in this firebox is in great condition but unfortunately, as I look up into the flue and a little bit onto the damper, I see creosote, which has to be removed. So make a note to yourself, call a chimney sweep when we're done and get that out of there. All they do is they scrub it off and it comes right off. Sure. Um, and what else I see is there are basically two type of dampers out there. A poker damper, which is just a, a cast iron extension and that'll poke the door up and open it that way. What you have is what we call a rotary damper, and that acts as a corkscrew. So when you twist this, the corkscrew inside will push the door open, and that's how the smoke gets out there. So other than that, we have the door. Yes, so the door, as you can tell, it tends to get stuck, but we like the safety aspect of them because we do have a dog, and we like the fact that it keeps all the fire where the fire is supposed to be. And then the damper itself, really has two options, either always open or always closed, okay. because it kind of just falls right just, off. <laughs> just falls off. <laughs> yeah. This handle, this knob, if you will, actually has to come off for us to take this door off okay. and install a new one anyway. So uh, why don't we just take this door off and that way we can get into it and start working. Sounds good. All right, let's go. Great. I'll start on this side. But usually sometimes these rust or the soot builds up on them, but we got lucky. This is a wing nut, and they're pretty loose. Yeah, not too hard. All right, I got one out. Let's get a little jiggle going. Yep. There it is. Okay. Excellent. There's the post. We were expecting that. That's intact, so that's another good sign. Depending on how big our next door is, we might have to do a little paint, but that's no big deal. So why don't we close these doors? And what I like to do, Kevin, is just drop this door in the middle of this tarp. Okay. Roll it up. And then we just walk her out. Perfect. All right, watch those doors, Kevin. You don't want to throw right. them up, and that's why we have the tape. All right, so here's our door. What I want to do is commend you on the measuring that you did because this door actually fits perfectly. Um, we are looking at a standard opening. This is 36 inches. So most fireplaces in the country start at this size. They can be bigger, they can be smaller, but a standard is 36. So okay. uh, great job picking the door out. Measurements are very critical. And uh, I'd say we start with that insulation that you have over there to your right. Sure, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna cut this insulation all around these openings right here. This insulation is gonna absorb some of the heat, which is gonna allow this new cover to expand with the heat. This is also gonna close up the gap between the brick and the new cover. Okay. And again, we wanna get under the bracket. This is gonna give us what they call a thermal break. All right, the next thing are these clamps. This is just a T-clamp. It's going to go through our lintel. We're gonna back screw it, and it'll keep the, the door tight. Okay. But all we do for install 
is we just put them in vertically and give it a twist and that's it. We just locked it in horizontally. Okay. Now we're going to take the bottom clamp, slide it right into its bracket, lay it flat and that's how that pressure point will clamp right into the brick. Great. All right, let's get this up. Watch that glass. Now we're just going to twist it in. Nice. All right, so Kevin, if you want to dive in there, I'll hold the door in place. Sure. And you can start with the clips. Now this is the T-bracket. Make sure it wraps around that lintel, which is that piece of steel that's right above you. Okay. All right, should be good. Great. All right. To get out of there, Kevin, we'll throw the level on it. Okay. Doesn't get much better than that. All right, Kevin, one more problem. It's probably the biggest problem we had, the knob. Great. And what I'm going to do for that is you can see that I have a little putty, and this is epoxy putty. But I want to mix this putty until I get a consistent color. You can see I have the black and the gray. Yep. Well, I want to mix that all together. Once I get one color, I know I'm ready to go. Epoxy putty is an easy, inexpensive way to fix a sticky or stripped rotary damper. All right, can you hand me the knob? Sure. Now, we're not going to need too much epoxy. And just for aesthetics, I'm going to start the knob pointing down. Perfect. But what I'm going to do right now, Kevin, is I'm going to take a little bit of tape, keep this tape on for 24 hours, and that's just going to keep this knob in place while it sets up. So we have one more item to show you. That's a regulator. Pay attention to that once the fire gets going. Before I leave though, let's start a small fire. All right, let's do All it. All right, let's go. Excellent. All right. Nice. Mark, this looks awesome. Uh, I think we're definitely gonna have way more fires now and the doors really make me feel really safe about having our dog around it. So I think this is just perfect. All right, well, I'm glad I could help. And as long as you're gonna use that more, it was definitely worth the trip. Awesome, well, thanks so much, Mark, I appreciate it. You got it, Kevin, thanks. All right. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.